Good morning. Welcome to Corky's Tea Time. I got a piece of mail that I'd like to share with you. And I would like to say thank you very much to Susan, the hostess, over at the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. This piece of mail came all the way from Tennessee. Never been to Tennessee, but I would hear it's quite pretty. And I'll show you the front of the card she sent me. I really think that's really pretty. Isn't that something very pleasant to open an envelope and see that? Isn't that pretty? I really like that. Oh, this is a Laura Ashley card. Very nice. And it says, uh, Dear Anastasia, thank you so much for the birthday card. Mr. H and I, thank you. And she says she's saying prayers for my health and healing. It's a blessing to have met me through YouTube. Our hope, our friendship continues to grow and blossom. Susan. And uh, very nice stamps in here. Very fancy. Look at that, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. What an amazing stamp. And she put in here, Phil 413, so I think, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Every experience God gives us, every person he puts in our lives, is the perfect preparation for the future that only he can see. Corey Ten Boom, I'm so glad God saw fit for us to meet through YouTube. Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. That is so cool to have a stamp that big with your YouTube channel on it. That's awesome. That is so cool. Very neat. Look at that. Look at the size of that stamp. That's so cool. Thank you very much, Susan. Thank you very much for the card. But that's not all. She also sent a sticker. Isn't that so cool? So cool. From Tennessee, the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. Isn't that pretty how she's got her chickens on there? Is that the Laurel Leaf Branch? That's so cool. Very fancy to have stamps like that and sticker. That's really cool. I'll have to put the sticker on my car. <laughs> Everybody can see it. And so right now I've got that steam canner back on the stove and I'm doing another test run and we'll see how that goes. And then I'm just going to jump right in and start canning. Just like I did when I taught myself how to do water bath canning. I came from an Time where women were so busy working outside of the home that when they got there was no one home to do baking and cooking and meal prepping it was just we we're home for work let's rush in the kitchen let's throw the dinner together sit down and eat we clean up the dishes and then we go our separate ways yes and so there was no one to teach me how to do any canning, any sewing, or anything. I'm completely self-taught. And uh, just something to share with you real quick. My husband and I were driving down the road, running an errand. We were dropping off something. And we saw a yard sale sign, so we stopped. There were two houses side by side having a yard sale. And at one of the houses, I found this bowl in its oval shape. And that's the design on the inside. And that's the design on this side of the bowl. There's nothing on this side. And this is by Tabletops Gallery. These come out of J.C. Penney's. So you know with just the one bowl, oval shape, nice design like that on the inside and the front, you know that was a good pretty penny and I got that bowl for a dollar. I thought that was really pretty cool for a dollar, you know. Couldn't find something like that at the dollar store, that was for sure. 
then you know how I am about teacups. Yes, they had a box of teacups, and I went through all the teacups. Them people. They must have taken Grandma's china cabinet and her goodies, packed them up in a box, and just stuck them out in the garage. Once the Grandma or Mama passed, all her teacups were cracked, chipped, or crazed. Not a one was useful, and she had black teacups, which I have been looking for. And uh, so they were broken. They weren't usable. It was so hard to walk away from it, especially since that's what I was looking for was black teacups. But I went over to the next table, and the man came up to me, and he goes, these were my mother's teacups. And he goes, so I need $2 a set. And I said, okay, that's fair, you know. And I was looking at these. They're white. Gold rim on the inside, and on this side here of the cup, they're very lightweight, so I know they're porcelain, you can see through them. Here's the fruit on this side, so this very much reminds me of fall, with the harvest coming in, everything coming in. Look at those cherries. Isn't that really neat? Okay, that's one teacup. Okay, this is coming out of Bavaria, West Germany, okay? And uh, so that teacup had the cherries on it. This teacup has strawberries on this side. And then they have apples. Is that apples? Did I double check? Yes, this is golden. It looks like some kind of golden delicious apple. You know, with the nuts. Look at that. Are those buckeyes? Are they hazelnuts? They're not walnuts. They're not pecans. So, I don't know. I'll have to look that up to see what kind that is. But I really like that, how the two cups are the same, but different, you know. They're both the fall theme. Isn't that neat? And like I said, this one has cherries, this one has strawberries on it. So that was pretty cool. And it comes with the saucers. And the saucers have on here like different nuts, like maybe the different stages that they would be in or something or some kind of, this is what's on the plate. And then there's this little cluster here. So let me move my fingers. There we go. So here's the nuts in the shell. So I don't know if these are the different phases, stages of life. I will have to look that up. But again, like I said, these are coming out of Bavaria, West Germany, and everything else on the bottom of the plate is all in German, and I cannot read it. I haven't spoken German in many, many years. So this one here looks like that. And this plate has the strawberries on it. Right there are the strawberries. And they have, this one has the, oh, let's see if I can get that on the table without cluster of anything happening and uh, so we have the strawberries on here and we have the nuts in that phase and then like that little cluster of berries I don't know what that would be you know and I just think this is really cool and this is the stamp on the back but everything is in German the only thing I can make out is Bavaria West Germany And that's the back stamp. And uh, so I thought that was very neat. So I spent a total of $5. $2 a piece on the teacup and saucer. And $1 on the plate, on the bowl. I mean, that was a total of $5. So while we were in uh, the grocery store, I'm like, oh, I know what I want to make. The first thing I'm going to can is lavender. This is culinary lavender infused wine jelly. <laughs> Do you know how hard it's been to sit here and look at this bottle day after day when I walk by? Because it's like 
I know how that tastes in there, and it's pretty doggone good. I wouldn't buy a little glass, but heck, it's for the canning to make the jelly for Christmas gifts. So, I don't get to have none. So, I'm going to go ahead and close for now. And uh, I will get to seeing how a steam canner is doing. And I'm not seeing any steam come out at the moment. Well, I'll go ahead and close out this video and I'm going to run over there to check on it since it hasn't done anything. It's right in front of me. It's on the other side of that camera. And uh, so I'll go ahead and close out this video and I will go check on that canner. It should have been steaming to me in my opinion by now. <coughs> Maybe I just got to crank it up just a tiny little bit. Well, y'all have a nice happy day and I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.